and I'm going to introduce uh, Pilar Chivas. It's really hard to introduce Pilar Chivas for the Spanish fellows, as Pilar is very well known professor and researcher. She has a number, a number of academic qualities we all would like to have someday in the future. Uh, anyway, for the uh, our uh, foreigners, foreign visitors. Pilar is a PhD architect. She's a full professor and was for years uh, the dean of the School of Architecture of the University of Alcalá de Henares, a time where the, a position like this not, was not usually occupied by women. Okay. She is member of the Spanish National Agency for Quality in Higher Education. Um, well, until the year 2018, she was responsible for the field architecture in the coordination team in the National Spanish Agency for Research. She is a major specialist in cultural heritage, uh, cultural heritage studies, analysis, and documentation. Uh, and she is currently <coughs> leading a research team Built Heritage and Sustainable Architecture, running at the University of Alcalá. Well, she is, was awarded a lot of times with gold medals and diplomas or whatever, in, either in Spain, either in, in, in the United Kingdom, or everywhere she, she goes. I have to say that as she is a frequent visitor to this architecture school. Fortunately. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, I must have to say just a few words. Uh, welcome back, uh, Pilar. Bienvenida a casa más una vez. Uh, thank you very much for sharing with us your knowledge and uh, it's a short team as I have explained to you because of, um, some of us are out because of COVID but are following you by, by internet. Thank you very much for thank your you. time. Okay. Thank, thank you. you to you. Thank you very much for your kind presentation. Okay. Thank you for the invitation. It's a pleasure to be here with you. and. Um, uh, I, I, I'm really uh, happy uh, being again in, in, at the school in La Coruña, which is uh, really, I, I really, I'm glad to be here again. So, uh, as uh, responsible for the architectural research at the Spanish agency uh, SCNAI and responsible to of the architectural projects at the um, uh, international Ag Spanish Agency of, uh, for Research, International Research. Um, I would like to talk, to present you, uh, which is the future, where do we go uh, currently? Which is, um, which is, which, uh, um, I don't know how to say, um, I, we have seen in the previous um, uh, conference, we have seen uh, some really interesting applications of uh, what the future is uh, bringing uh, related to uh, artificial intelligence, to machine learning, to machine intelligence, to twin, digital twins, for instance. Those are fields that are really uh, the future in this moment, not only for the engineers or for those who are uh, the specialists on um, uh, math labs, for instance, but for architects too. And this is what I wanted you to, what I wanted to stress, because um, students, some uh, students, young students and researchers, still have a, a quite um, romantic idea of what a researcher is. But in the moment, this uh, romantic idea is completely over. So we have to think of what it is coming. And what is coming is that we are inside, we are within the European context, which is just a part of the global context. Worldwide, the ideas for research, for um, uh, research application, for transfer, are, um, are, uh, um, are synchronized 
So uh, it's no more the time for isolated researchers, but for labs, as we have seen before, and for teams of uh, researchers, for uh, networks of researchers, international networks. So uh, that's what I'm going to stress in this, um, in my short speak. First of all, this is the, con the, the content of my, my speech. We'll, with, with, uh, we'll deal with uh, these subjects. First of all, about the framework, which is the framework within that is uh, uh, guiding our, our, pace, our paces in, at this moment. And this uh, framework is established by means of the aims of the Horizon Europe program, which is really our, um, our, gui our main guideline for research in this moment. Um, secondly, I will uh, talk about uh, research projects mainly focusing on architecture and civil engineers too, because those two uh, fields of knowledge are mm, mm, closely related. And um, uh, what we are looking for in these uh, research projects are uh, advances in knowledge and in technology. So those two uh, fields must be always taken into account. So there's no, I think it's no more time for, um, for uh, re uh, local, um, small, short-minded uh, researchers who only think of the uh, um, office, their small world. This, the world in, at this moment, we are um, uh, researchers for the world. So we cannot, um, we have to think widely. Then I will talk in shortly about research dissemination, which is um, uh, mostly related with open science. And finally, I will uh, talk about assessment, how these uh, uh, initiatives uh, at all those levels are assessed and which are the criteria which are applied currently to uh, define uh, which are this are, are which should be um, uh, what should be our, our which what should be our their next steps if we go uh, we focus on these three um, main uh, items the aims of the horizon europe program there are to, uh, um, I, 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 I'm talking at this moment for the, uh, 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 from the Spanish perspective, which is the Spanish strategy or 2021-2027, um, which is the Plan de Incentivación Horizon Europe, which is just the, the, uh, um, a kind of um, uh, approach to the Horizon Europe uh, guidelines. Then I will talk about the Spanish Agency of, uh, for Research, which is the um, Agencia Estatal de Investigación. And I will focus on the uh, research opportunities in architecture, and as I told you, as, or as in um, civil engineer too. And finally, about uh, research dissemination, uh, there's uh, another, um, another administration who, is, uh, who deals with this kind of, uh, of uh, assessment and is the ANECA, which you have all, I always put right down the uh, um, websites to, in order to uh, make you uh, an easy, easier to, to find the different strategies. When we go to the aims of the Horizon Europe program, um, the brochure is uh, called Open Innovation, Open Science, and Open to the World, which is a, a, a wonderful resume of what I have been explaining before. And it also has to do with uh, my colleague, my colleague Eva Arumis has uh, explained open, why open? Because, um, Europe wants to get a single digital market for Europe. 
So um, what he's uh, developing in his lab has a lot to, to do with this open data, open, uh, um, open uh, publications, open science, which is so important for the moment to get the, uh, a competitive Europe. Uh, why do I say this? Because what this, um, what e Europe wants is to foster investment opportunities for new products and services and to increase productivity and employment. So if we uh, make uh, this, we uh, highlight investment, new products, services and productivity and employment. These are keywords, keywords for Europe, keywords at this moment for the world, in, uh, in, for the worldwide research uh, uh, panorama. So um, this has nothing to do with uh, previous, with most of the previous uh, frameworks for research in architecture, because uh, people used to focus on all the different uh, subjects which were also interesting, but have nothing to do with uh, investment, with uh, new products, with new services. Everything is focused on society, on the European society that, we'll, that we want to build. So, and how do we do this? Uh, science, open science and uh, innovation uh, must be on the basis of the interaction between science and the United Euro European, Uni uh, European Union um, policies. So uh, there's no more um, a distance between, um, between um, uh, the social life, society, the needs of society, and what, is, what we are doing in our universities, in our labs, in our uh, research centers. Then, uh, this is the strategy of Europe, uh, Horizon Europe. You can get this guide from this uh, uh, link uh, on the lower part of the slide, which is um, translated into Plan de Incentivación Horizonte Europa in Spain. But you have the same in Italy, the same in every country of the European Union. So you can uh, always look for these documents and find them in order to, uh, or go directly to the source, to the European source, so in order to, to find which are the particular strategies. And I will outline these strategies. What is Horizon Europe? Horizon Europe is grounded in a set of three pillars and several clusters. What for? This is very important. What for? To strengthen the EU research area. What for? What I have told you before. To strengthen the policies, to relate policies with research, with the uh, science. If we talk about the pillars, uh, the main pillars are excellent science, which is uh, related to uh, grants and um, networks, scientific networks, of course. Innovative Europe, that has to be with uh, attracting um, uh, talent from all the uh, groups, all the teams. And what is important for us at this moment is the one that is uh, um, stressed as global challenges and, and industrial competitiveness, which has a lot to, to do with the previous, um, the previous slide. Which are these clusters? These clusters are nothing to do with the clusters that, have shown, that we have seen before. <laughs> it's another kind of clusters. But uh, um, at the end, they are interrelated. I will tell you why. These clusters are, uh, I, um, in short, the main uh, uh, problems that uh, uh, Europe thinks that he, it has to deal with. So, first of all, health is a very serious problem. 
in, in many uh, facets. I, I will talk about this uh, later. Then culture, creativity, and inclusive society. Civil security for society, digital, industry and space, climate, energy, and mobility, and food bioeconomy, natural resources, agriculture, and environment. And we can think, if we uh, focus on architecture and civil engineering, maybe we can uh, choose this four among all of them. It's true that we can do a lot if we think on civil security for society, because what has uh, shown a professor uh, before is, uh, is uh, closely related with this item because you, uh, by means of these um, graphs and these uh, relationships that you establish within, within between these uh, different data sets associated to the streets, to the digital terrain model, to the 3D models that we have seen, then you can get the, a lot of uh, guidelines or, um, or strategies to develop this item of um, civil security for society. So don't think that I, have, I am excluding this. Even an environment is really interesting, or agriculture. Natural close, close resources, resources are close to, the, to our uh, places, to our towns and cities, which are in the, in the basis of, the, of sustainability. So uh, I don't think that I, I am missing this because I, I don't I don't think they are interesting, but I think they are more inter, um, inter uh, uh, transdisciplinary than the others that can be more focused on uh, this specific uh, um, areas of knowledge. <coughs> health, why health? I will tell you why. Health, we are, we are working on this field, on, on the field of health, and we are using this uh, kind of strategies of 3D models for hospitals. To, uh, we study the topology, the topological relationships with, within the hospital and in the outside the hospital, in order to uh, study, uh, uh, to study uh, wayfinding and uh, signaling and many other um, devices that are related with. Uh, we are developing an applet to uh, to help. Uh, we're finding inside a hospital. So for non, um, for disabled, particularly disabled people, not only um, uh, physically uh, impaired, but also psychically impaired or uh, uh, aging people. So uh, this, that's why I, I want to stress how important it was what you have told us before, what we have shown, and because you have uh, changed we have, you have shown different scales of work, which is really important. It's not to think on architecture as isolated object that can be too, but it uh, has a, a limited interest when you can uh, make a, wide, a wider uh, study um, uh, related with the town. Uh, culture, creativity, and inclusive society are, um, are evident because we are very, we are traditionally interested in uh, cultural heritage, and there are many different ways to uh, develop um, uh, strategies for um, for knowledge, for documentation, for dissemination of this kind of uh, of um, really important uh, aspects of our of our the social life in Europe. And uh, digital industry and space, digital is obvious. So we have seen it's BIM, HBeam, there are um, GIS, Geographic Information Systems, which, uh, which are, then are on the basis of your study. You, you make a, a, a digital maps, you make a topological, um, uh, uh, you establish topological re relationships. So you, you do a lot of things related to digital. So. This is obvious too, and climate, energy, and mobility um, has a lot to do with uh, uh, sustainable architecture and sustainable cities. So um, that's why these clusters, I think, are most suitable to be um, to be uh, to be uh, uh, developed by architects and civil engineers. 
why this uh, this four uh, um, strategies, I think, or clusters, uh, it are so influent in Europe? Because you have on the left side of the slide some um, interesting um, targets for Europe. First of all, Europe wants to get, to uh, achieve a balanced society, which is uh, this has to do with accessibility, really closely related to these uh, digital methods, this uh, um, uh, space syntax, for instance. Rural development has a lot, a lot to do with uh, mobility, with uh, the strategies for the uh, outside the towns. Uh, that uh, that's why the, the previous uh, uh, presentation was so interesting because it was uh, I, it was an, an an application of what I am saying in in abstract uh, as an abstract uh, concept, sustainable land planning sustainable accessible cultural heritage, building a European identity, which is really important for Europe, and climate change, of course. And uh, uh, you see that in each one of these uh, items, you can find the importance of this uh, intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence, the importance of uh, geographic information systems, of databases, relational databases, interoperability, there are concepts that must be on our um, uh, daily vocabulary today, but are not still are not, and that's what I am trying to show you that the importance of this, um, the sculpture of the of this new um, strategic words or topics. So, uh, as examples. When maybe uh, sometimes when I show this uh, this uh, slide, uh, some of my colleagues say, "But I have nothing to do with this." No, you have a lot to do about this. For instance, healthy, accessible cities have, have to do with health, have to do with culture, with inclusive society, with digital, and also to mobility. For instance, just to 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 link some of the items that are shown on the right. Post-pandemic cities is an, a very important subject too, because uh, life has changed a lot. We were talking about uh, life in the, at the universities after COVID, uh, and everything has changed a lot because many uh, students cannot come. Sometimes uh, uh, we have a uh, we, life has changed. Even our the way to work in labs and to go to the archives and and to do some uh, things that uh, um, before were uh, a part of our daily life, now you have to uh, preview how to do it, to, to ask for uh, an appointment and to do a lot of things that before was, we, we didn't thought about this. Healthy, accessible buildings, of course. And life architecture, why end life architecture? Because Europe wants balanced society and integrated societies. You cannot leave uh, alone people who has disabilities, people who has, who is aged, who, children are also uh, need a different way to be integrated into, um, into the buildings and into the uh, uh, towns. And life architecture, very important, because it, it has a lot to do with uh, um, the quality of life. It is uh, mandatory to every European citizen, or should be mandatory. Green technologies and materials for cultural heritage, how to uh, make uh, um, sustainable restorations and how or, or uh, refurbishments or um, even uh, direct our plans for um, monuments, as uh, you, it's more or less the same that you have seen with other um, uh, focus. TICS for cultural heritage is the same. Uh, museums and now visiting museums by means of applets or, or um, uh, remotely by uh, through the websites. It's, uh, it's our daily life today, which. Uh, 15 days ago was uh, <laughs> was uh, was not uh, easy to understand. So, 
sustainable mobility, climate neutral, smart city. Smart also has to do with space syntax that has shown our rooms before. Climate neutral, uh, sustainable architecture and recycled building materials. That's also very important to use uh, materials uh, with low carbon, uh, carbon uh, print and with uh, that are in the if possible that are produced not far away because transport is also uh, quite contamination contaminating uh, um, agent then how to assess all this uh, all these uh, kind of researches uh, it's important to know to notice that um, uh, in Spain we uh, we have to we develop this assessment each six years. So after a six year, year period, um, we uh, we have to uh, look for what we have we have uh, make a resume of what uh, we have done uh, uh, on the field of research, but also on the field of transfer, which is very important, as we have seen when we want to um, link. The, the European policies uh, related to uh, to jobs, to creation, job creation, to um, uh, competitive industries, and all that that I have shown before. So, if you go from 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 top uh, uh, on the top on the upper part, you can see what is more related with research. And on the basis is what is more related with with transfer. So it's gradually established, but you can do a lot of things. You don't need only to publish things. It's uh, to publish your results. You have to uh, be competitive, to uh, bring some investment opportunities, to be a leader in entrepreneurial and entrepreneurial leadership. To to achieve this kind of leadership that Europe and the uh, European companies uh, need at this moment to create jobs, to uh, disseminate, of course, um, your work. And also, you can train all the people with your knowledge. So from top to uh, the lower part, scientific publications, singular works, patents, industrial PhDs, which are really, in the, at this moment, are fundamental industrial PhDs, because it links the university with, this, uh, with, the, with industry, with uh, companies, with, with, uh, with economy at, at the end. Uh, Startups, spin-offs, recruitments, committees, and cooperation. We were talking before about cooperation, the importance, stressing the importance of cooperation as a part of training of this uh, uh, item, uh, of uh, a part of our work at the end. And this is the um, uh, company, the uh, administration, which, uh, which is uh, devoted to uh, a teacher assessment. And, and has three branches. And the most important for us is the right one, which is the CNAI, which, is, uh, which assesses on research and transfer. And which are these uh, assessment criteria? Uh, this is a document that it was um, uh, developed by, published by uh, ANECA um, last year and has the, um, and includes the main targets of the uh, research in Spain. Um, in meanwhile, the um, declaration of research assessment has changed a lot, some criteria, some previous criteria, because um, we were used to manage only quantity, uh, many JCR publications, uh, many SJ uh, publications, and we didn't uh, even notice what was the content. And then uh, uh, DORA, which is the research assessment, this platform, is um, arguing against this kind of uh, quantitative criteria, uh, but uh, fostering a quali quality, the, uh, the application of qualitative criteria. So, which are these? Uh, 
criteria that we are going to apply, but not retroactively. This is really important. It's not uh, will not be applied retroactively. So first, to promote quality rather than quantity. Secondly, to stabilize criteria to facilitate self-assessment. Uh, this leaves a short margin to subjectivity, which is really important in these cases because you, uh, objectivity must be um, the most important um, uh, criteria to be applied. So you cannot be subjective in this kind of uh, assessment. Uh, just for not being um, um, arbitrary. Thirdly, to limit the effect of changes in long scientific careers, because you know that uh, when uh, those who have more than uh, 30 years uh, research career have noticed that um, there are some waves uh, uh, in sometimes it's important one thing and sometimes it's better another. And so this uh, assessment criteria, criteria of Vanica are looking for stabilize this, the criteria, criteria applied to assess uh, the scientific careers. Qualitative indexes is a way to complement the uh, impact factor, which is uh, quite perverse in my opinion. This is my opinion. Sometimes. <laughs> and to foster multi multidisciplinary uh, collaborat collaboration and scientific networks, which is what I was talking before uh, when I was talking about the, the uh, mecha uh, mechanical, uh, uh, the, your lab, <laughs> your math lab at the end. And to incorporate open science, which is at this moment is mandatory for the Spanish government. So everything you, 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 you produce must be open to the world, open to Europe, open as I show you in the first, in the second slide. And that's all, thank you very much. I hope uh, it, will it will be uh, useful for you or at least for those who are studying in your research career. And uh, so in case you need everything, you have my email in the, um, in the Congress uh, website. Thank you very much. If you want to ask some yes. questions, yes. I, I'm may, ready. <laughs> okay, may I ask Tasso uh, back to the table? Um, uh, we, we, we can have a, a short time for discussions or for, for questions. Course. This discussion by, uh, was going to be the, directed by Franklin Moraes. Uh, from the Escola Superior Artistica do Porto. No? Okay? Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you very much. So, thank, you to you. thank you, Pilar. It's a pleasure. It was clever. Okay.